Hi lads, so just following on from the last class, I said I'd send you something regarding extracting melody from an audio clip, etc. So I've got a session here um, and I've got uh, four audio clips that go together. So I've got a bass, some drums, and some guitar. Some vocals there as well. Concerned about these two clips that go together melodically. So, if I wanted to uh, work out what notes are being played in that bit of audio, um, I can use a plugin to do that, something like Melodyne. So, in Ableton 9, you'll be able to right click a bit of audio and extract it to MIDI, and it'll pick out the notes for you and even put it onto a similar instrument. We're not there yet with 8, so. What I typically do is I go to my plugins and I get Melodyne. There's a few programs that'll do this, but I use Melodyne. Stick it on the track I want to find out a bit more about and play it in. So okay, I just play it there and I'll stop the um, audio. <coughs> so I can go in there and I can see. That's my loop playing there, and I can see the notes laid out for me. So, what do I have? If I click that. A G followed by. Now, this is played in by someone playing the guitar or the bass guitar, and they've moved the string up. It runs over two notes, but just for the purposes of this, runs up to a G here, an octave up, and then an F. So they're the notes that are in my loop. Okay, so G, G, F. So I'm just gonna delete those for the moment so they don't play over the top. But I click. Okay, uh, I'm actually gonna just take Melodyne off. G, G, F. I'm gonna create a new clip. MIDI clip to move in beside it okay so let's try it out um, G and I can remind myself where those notes are being played by looking at the original audio so I've got the first note G running up to 1.33 and then another note coming in at 1.4 so 1.33 and 1.4 okay so I'll go in here up to 1.33 let us scroll up to the next G, there's G, 1.33, followed by DF at 1.4. And I'll just stretch them out a bit as per the audio. This will run up to 1.33. So I'll just move this window up a little bit so we can see them all and give it a play. Now, of course, there's nothing on it yet. So I'll go and find myself. Uh, I'll go into my device browser and find a bass instrument. So let's go into instrument rack and uh, there's some string basses. So we'll just take a basic um, string bass. Play with the original there. Seems to be the right notes, but they're up too high, up an octave. So I'll go in and I'll drag them down an octave. So I'll just select those notes. And drag them down an octave to a G below. Have a listen now. Okay. So they seem to be uh, being played <coughs> correctly. So perhaps I don't like the instrument that's being played. Let's see how it sounds with the other parts. So I want to change that particular sound, not mad about it. So this is where my hot swap comes into its own. I try out a few other um, sounds. Too punchy. Okay, 
nice. That sounds quite nice. It's going to give it a different flavour to the set of lips we have. Okay, so I'm happy with the sound I've got now. So I've got the correct notes. They're going to match in with my existing audio. Uh, one last thing I can do is, if you look at the audio itself there, there's a bit of groove in here. That note is just before, coming in just before where 1.33 is. So why don't I, I think I had that in before, just to show you it happening. I can right click the original audio and go extract groove. And then simply attach that groove to the, the MIDI. So if I go in and look at the MIDI, I can see that that groove has been applied. And if I commit the groove, I can see now that those notes that I drew in are slightly off the grid as per the audio. So we're keeping that groove from the audio in the new MIDI. everything ties in nicely. All right, cheers.